curlers hit the ice in Niagara Falls this past weekend for the 16th annual Curl for Memories. The fundraiser benefits the Alzheimer's Society Niagara Foundation. It's grown uh, significantly over the years. We get a lot of pledge money for this event. We moved it last year to the Niagara Falls Curling Club from the Welling Curling Club, so that was sort of a revitalization of the event, and it's been going very well. The title sponsor is Value Muffler and Brake Center, and our lunch is sponsored by the Lions here, the Stamford Lions here in Niagara Falls. So it's really a big community event as well that we couldn't do what we do without that support. Who's helping you today? Who's helping me today? <laughs> I have wonderful staff that have uh, organized a lot of this today. And we have a foundation, the Alzheimer's Society has a foundation that funds the society's programs and services. We have to raise about $500,000 a year just to meet status quo, to run the programs that we do. Former world champion Jennifer Campbell was back to assist with the event again this year. There's a lot of new curlers out here and uh, they need all the help they can get. It's, you know, it's very uh, unnerving to come onto ice for the first time and uh, so we just do whatever we can to help them out. How are they taking to the sport, some of these newbies? Well, they really enjoyed it. Like this morning, um, there was a family together, father, mother and children, and then uh, and the one young fellow, uh, he was a hockey player, and he couldn't get over what the difference was, you know, curling versus the hockey. And uh, he said he really, really enjoyed it. So we just hope that uh, they will maybe take up the sport in the future. Today's fun spiel was expected to raise $15,000 for the foundation. And so it's sort of fun to see uh, some of the people you see every year at these events. And it's also, uh, it's also great to see a bunch of new people, uh, people you've known in the, in the community in some other, uh, uh, for some other reason and some other association, and then you see them out here. So it is fantastic. And a lot of people actually are, are partly risking their lives out here today because they're not, they're not veteran curlers, and they come out just to have some fun and try a sport. A lot of them probably don't play an awful lot, but uh, I personally find it a lot of fun, and this is about the seventh time I've ever curled. So, yeah. As we slowly make our way towards the end of the year, how would you wrap up 2014 for the Society? Well, actually, all of our, our events have been fantastic. Uh, starting with the Walk for Memories in January, we get tremendous support from Avondale Stores, which has made that event a success. Our golf tournament this year uh, uh, exceeded its goal, thanks again to uh, largely to great uh, donor sponsors as well as participants. The Coffee Break campaign has been a huge success now for three or four years, thanks to the Marine Industry Charitable uh, council, uh, a bunch of people in the marine industry and shipping industry that have gotten together and their companies have hosted and put on events and, and, uh, and, and uh, provided us with a lot of funds. And this is sort of our last event of the year, even though the coffee break goes through the fall. Uh, and again, we have uh, tremendous support from the community for, for this event. The Alzheimer's Society Niagara Foundation will soon shift gears and focus their attention on the annual Walk for Memories that is scheduled for January 25th at Brock University. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.